Hello, it's Jack Cox, author of Love Not Fear. I made a video a couple of weeks ago now, maybe it was a month ago, about borders and uh, why we still need them for a limited time. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it at the end of this one. Um, and I talked about national governments making uh, making laws that suit the customs and the culture of the people that live in that country. Because one size globalist solutions don't work. And I spoke out against multiculturalism. I so said people go and visit your country or settle in your country, they should adopt your culture. I'm all for multi-ethnic countries, but not multicultural ones. And all that if you didn't understand, or didn't want to understand, and started accusing me of being a racist or some such nonsense, even although I clearly said right at the beginning of that video, I have nothing against multi-ethnic race, multi-ethnic countries. It's multicultural countries that don't work. They can't ever work. And if people want open borders, they have to learn how to travel and settle with respect to the people who were there before them. And yet you still call me a racist. What is it with that word? You people seem to be, oh, some of you, not all of you, but some of you are just so hung up on that stupid word. Anyway, I went, I took the bus a few miles down the road to go for a walk last week, no, earlier this week, in a beautiful natural place. And I posted a video about it. And I was just waiting for the bus coming back. And I got talking to this lady who was waiting at the bus stop. Disabled lady in a wheelchair, but that's not relevant. And it's a lovely little English village. And she lives in one of the new houses on the council estate. Now this is quite a posh little village, or it used to be. A gentrified little village full of retired people. And professionals. And then they built this new housing estate. I don't know whether it was designed as Birmingham Overflow or what, but anyway, it was a new housing estate. They were talking about white English people on the whole, okay? In the village before white English people. In the village since the new housing estate, on the new housing estate, predominantly white English people. So nothing whatsoever to do with race. Which is why I'm mentioning it now. And this lady was moaning that the rich people in the big houses didn't like the poor people in the council houses. And she thought it was because they were poor. And I didn't say anything to her at the time. I just went away and had a little think about this. But I remember last year, maybe it was the year before, being in that same village 
and there were hooligans running around, teenagers. There's a lovely old, lovely old bridge, stone bridge, uh, Paco's Bridge, over the river, over the river Trent. And they were hurling each other off and shouting and leaving litter everywhere. And when I was on the bus coming home at that time, there were a load of kids who took their scooters on the bus. And you couldn't walk up and down the aisle for all these bloody kids and scooters. And the kids were screaming and... And I remembered that, and I was thinking about what this lady had said, and I suddenly realised it's not because you're poor, it's because you have a different culture. You've moved into somebody else's place, where there were already people living there before, and you haven't tried to adapt to their way of life. You've brought your old inner city culture with you. So nothing whatsoever to do with race. But a clear example, real world example of why multiculturalism doesn't work. I talk a lot about countries and nations and a lot of you don't like that, you don't think there should be any borders, you think it's just one big world. You say daft things, I'm sorry, I don't mean to disrespect anybody, but daft things such as, oh well you can't see the national border from space. Well no, I can't see your garden fence from space either, but I'm not going to sit on your front lawn and have a picnic. If you don't like the word country or the word nation, that's fine. Just think of place. If you went to stay in somebody's house, and it was a no smoking house, would you light up? If they asked you to leave your shoes downstairs in the cloakroom, would you insist on marching through the house in your muddy boots? No, you'd adapt to their culture because they were there first and it's their place. So why can't you do that when you move to somebody else's country? Those of you who have read my book and have heard my other talks will know that I spent a lot of my years in Spain. I spent 18 years, 17 years, 18 years in Spain. And the first thing I did was to go native, to learn the local culture, learn the local traditions and try and fit in, learn the local language as best as I could. I mean, I'm not that good at languages, but I did my best. I determined the very day I arrived, crossing the Pyrenees in my van, that no matter how stuck I got, I was never ever going to utter the words, do you speak English? And in 17, 18 years, I never did once. I always managed in their language. Obviously it got easier after I'd been there for a little while. And I was so chuffed. One of the last things that happened before I left was a local Spanish farmer in the little village where I lived. Asked me, because I used to work as a photographer, asked me if I could take the last portraits of his dying mother and father. Me, a foreigner, a geary as they call us. That touched my soul that he asked me. 
And of course I did the best possible job I did, I could do. And they were all very, very pleased with the photographs. In fact, I was so honoured to be asked, I didn't even charge them in the end, I just gave them the pictures. I felt so honoured. And at the same time, I saw the worst type of immigrants, the Brits abroad, who had no intention of ever fitting in. The ignorant arseholes who thought they were better than the locals. And of course when I came back to England and I saw the same thing happening in England, where immigrants to here were treating our people like that. And I recognised the pattern straight away. So there's nothing racist about saying that multiculturalism doesn't work. If you want to live in somebody else's place, learn their customs. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Anyway, that's all I want to say today. We all try to live in peace, can we? Love each other. Namaste.